welcome to another video with me, your girl T. And today we are going to try on and review these pieces from the Let's Get Tone launch from the Buff Bunny collection, which comes out this Saturday, January 30th at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, I do have a countdown going over on my Instagram, so if you don't want to miss it, you want to make sure that you get an alert when the pieces are live. Go to my Instagram, go to my Buff Bunny highlights, and find the countdown. And you can go ahead and just save it so that you do not miss out. These pieces are adorable. The colors are mwah, so pretty. And I am so excited to share these pieces with you. Um, as always, anytime that you use my support code, Teresa, it means the world to me. Um, just so you guys know, the support codes are support codes for us, the affiliates, but they also help me uh, grow and build my relationship with Buff Bunny as the brand. Um, every time you guys use my code, it just kind of supports me so that I can keep bringing you guys all these try-ons, these reviews, these behind the scenes, this outfit inspo, and honestly, it means the world to me when you guys use it, that you guys want to see me do this for you. And, you know, I think that size inclusivity is so important, especially in the fitness industry. And so I want to make sure that I represent, you know, our Latinas, our curvy girls, our thicker girls, our girls with the uh, bigger booties, or maybe like the bigger boobies, I don't know. But, you know, because representation matters and so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart every time you guys use my code and I wish I could just hug y'all but a virtual hug is gonna have to do but without further ado let's get into the pieces so before we get started I'm going to share with you my body stats I am 5'2 and my waist I got my tape measure here just because I want to make sure that I give you accurate measurements so you always measure kind of right where you're like over your belly button over the smallest part of your waist so if we do that it says that I am a 34 inch waist okay and then now I'm going to do it over my hips which you want to go over your bum because that's the widest part of your hips and then if I bring it in I am 49 it was right here 49 inches hips so um those are my waist and hips measurements okay and we said I am five two so I am a little short nugget um, when I wear jeans I normally wear a size 12 jeans so for all of my buff bunny bottoms i wear um, an extra large and then for my buff bunny tops i wear just a large uh, i did size up on some of these pieces and i'm going to show you which ones those were and whether sizing up worked or did not work okay okay let's start with tops okay there are um quite a number of bras and tops coming out with this collection so this one right here is the spin sports bra this is the color high voltage and it's this beautiful minty green color um this bra has this detailing right here that goes right along the girls just like that um and i think i already told you i wear large but um this is what it looks like in the back, okay? It's got like that scooped neck, and then of course we've got the straps right here. Um, this bra fits me a lot like the sole bra from the Rebel launch. So if you got the sole bra, this one fits almost identical to that. Like the feel to me, the way that it just covers things here, the straps. Um, it's not the exact same design. It's a completely different bra. I'm just saying comparative wise, that's what this one reminds me of when I wear it, okay? Um, this bra has just like a normal band down here, which me personally, I like the bras that have the wider band just because I don't know, I feel like they support me better. That's why I like the Rosa bra, the Revolution bra. Um, I still like this bra though. This bra is super, super cute. It is comfortable. It is like, it's not tight, but it's got like support. So I did wear this one to do cardio and I had no issues with it holding the girls in. It does come with uh, the removable pads. I just like to take my pads out of my bras. 
I feel like if I leave them in, you can see the outline and it just looks a little weird, a little funky. So I always take mine out. Of course, the fabric is thin, so, you know, you might be able to not see through them, but, you know, you might see some, some a nipple bulge, but I, honestly, I don't care. Um, I'd rather just take the, the pads out um, and just wear the bra like this. But yeah, super cute. This bra is going to come in several other colors. So it's going to come in six colors. It's gonna come in this high voltage color, uh, Dirty Dancing, which is like a, a light brown nude color, um, Into the Groove, which is a gray color, Free Fallen, which is a light blue color, Onyx, which is black, and Atari, which is that beautiful like forest green. Um, actually, it's this is Atari right here. So it will come in this color. And then it says it's a medium support, which I fully um, agree with. It is medium support. Um, but yeah, so cute. Okay, next up is the Simmons crop top, which I know they call a crop top, but it is totally a bra as well. So this is made with the Perform fabric, which is the same fabric that the Outlaw leggings are made of. And you guys know that the Outlaw leggings are like my number one legging from Buff Bunny. So the fact that this bra is made out of that same fabric, um, just I think that's part of the reason why I love it so much. It's just that this fabric is very compressive but without it being tight because I think sometimes when people hear the word compressive they think it's tight but it's not tight it's just like it holds you in and that's what I love about my fitness wear I don't want to have to worry about it sliding or moving while I'm working out so I love this one it, it um, has the one shoulder strap here but then the two spaghetti straps over here and I told you it can totally be a bra because look See, like it's got this shelf bra and it goes all the way around, right? And then it's got the padding in here. So even if this does ride up, like you're still fully covered down here. And this doesn't like move up. Like I, I uh, worked out in it already. I did a photo shoot in it. I was, you know, twisting and turning all sorts of ways and it stayed put. And it's just so cute, so flattering. I absolutely love it. The back looks the same as the front just like that one shoulder um and then it's got the metal detailing right there super cute simmons crop this one is going to come in i believe three colors yeah it's going to come in this high voltage like minty color journey which is the like dark chocolate brown color and onyx which is black so that is the simmons crop all right Okay, and now we have the Namaste bra. This is not the exact same bra as the spin bra. I know it kind of looks similar, but it's not. So it is um, a two-tone, but it is also available in just like one tone. Um, actually, I'll tell you exactly which colors it comes in. It comes in full white, so all white. It comes in onyx, which would be black and white. Pretty in pink, which is like a soft pink color. Uh, Bowie, which is like the two shades of nude. Free Fallen, which is the one I have, this blue one, and Purple Rain, so it's gonna be like that deep purple and black combination. And they describe this bra as medium support, and I will totally agree on that. I wore this one already for a back day, so I'm doing uh, lap pull downs, I'm doing rows, um, and I also was on the Stairmaster, and it held up just fine. The back of this bra is so adorable, you guys know that I love anything that's super strappy and cute and just makes your back look so cute. Um, you guys always ask me about spillage. So this is me, right? Yes, I do have some spillage right here. But it's not because of the bra. The spillage happens because I have loose skin from weight loss and because I still have, I carry fat right here on my back. So it's, it's gonna be there. It doesn't matter if I wear this bra or another bra, the spillage is gonna be there. And if anything, to me, it's like a motivating factor to keep working on my body composition to where maybe one day I won't have the spillage. But up until then, like it, as long as like this is covered, I don't mind if this comes out a little bit. Um, it's comfortable, even though um, it may look like it's not, but it totally is. And I got mine in a large, so namaste bra. Okay, and now we have the under pressure 
bra. Now, this bra was designed for busty girls, uh, for girls who want more coverage, who want more support up top. So, I'm gonna get a little bit closer here. You can see that it's got this beautiful mesh detailing, right? This is not a zip up bra. I know that the blizzard zip up, like zips up right here. This one does not zip up. Okay, so it looks like this. It does have the built in cups, it does have more coverage because it comes up higher. Um, even on the sides, do you see how much coverage we've got going right here? Okay, the back is different for butt funny. I don't think I've had, I've seen them do anything like this. So it is one of those like hook and eye class, like a normal bra, and it's got the um, three different sections so you can make it tighter or looser. And then these straps right here are adjustable as well. So that if you need to make them tighter to bring this up higher to give you more support, you totally can. And once you adjust it, you don't have to keep um, adjusting it. The first time I wore it, I just wore it wherever the, these adjustments were. And I was constantly feel like I had to like pull it up, but that's because I didn't adjust it. So once I adjusted it and it's my size, now I don't feel like I have to keep pulling it up. So that's the trick with this bra use those adjustment features to your advantage to make it fit you exactly the way that it needs to fit you. This one also has the removable pads and I didn't feel like I had to take them out for this one. I just left them in there. The Namaste and the Spin Bra, I did take them out. This one, just left them in there. Um, and even though it is not one of those like wider or thicker uh, bands along the bottom, I still love it. I love this one. I, I think this is going to be my new hit and cardio bra, um, and I'm probably gonna end up getting it in other colors. I checked my PDF to see what other colors it's gonna come in, but it doesn't say, so I'm sorry I can't tell you what other colors it's gonna be in. Obviously, for sure, it's gonna come in this uh, Atari color, this beautiful green color, um, which would pair well with the Atari leggings or um, the Journey leggings. Um, or even the green citrus green leggings. Well, I will show you in just a minute. But yeah, this is the under pressure bra. Okay, and now we have the Material Girl ripped crop in the color royal, which is this beautiful deep purple color. So it is ribbed. I'm going to get close here for you guys. So you can see that it's ribbed. A lot of you have asked if this is the exact same one um, as the supply and demand from the Rebel launch, but it is not. This is a different one. It looks very similar um, as far as like the, the ribbing of the material, but I've noticed two major differences from the supply and demand. Okay, the supply and demand when I wore it, these uh, straps were a little bit out like that and I felt like I always had to pull them up. Um, I didn't get that bra but I did wear it for a shoot so I always felt that either I had the wrong size or maybe it just didn't fit my frame. Um, so I, I felt like I had to bring it in. This one, I haven't had to do that. So I think that's been an adjustment where like they bring it in a little bit more so you don't have to do that. The second thing that I noticed um, about this one is obviously that this one has padding. The supply and demand one, the top, did not have any kind of padding in it. This one does, and it's removable padding on top of that, so you can take it out. If you prefer it without the padding, of course, you can take it out. I'm going to keep mine in. I just feel like it shapes everything better, um, and I got a large in this one as well. I stayed true to size on this one, and it fits perfectly. Um, and just for reference, my normal bra size is uh, 38D and I got a large and it's fine. The, bra the back is a scoop neck back like that and then we've got the metal clasp right here. Okay, and now we have the cycle top in the color Breakfast Club, which is this like muted, not muted, it's like a light peach pink color. Um, so this is a full length top, as you can see. Here is the back. The back is so cute, because it's got these like cute little straps, and then these like, they're very lightweight spaghetti straps, which I think is gonna make this top perfect for spring and summer. 
the front of the top right here we've got this mesh little design right here and then we do have some padding do you need to wear a bra with this top completely up to you um, I went to the gym in this top without a bra just this top and I was perfectly fine um, I did a chest workout that day and I try to like purposely plan out the clothes that I'm gonna wear on specific uh, days that I'm gonna be working out just because if I figured if this works without a bra on chest day then it'll probably be, be okay for all the other days right so um, it worked for me I had no issues like I was laying on the bench and it was fine um, this one I did size up so all of my other bras I got a large this top I got an extra large and let me tell you my reasoning why I thought I should size up um, because this is a fitted top you can see it's really fitted right I didn't know if it was gonna be like super tight right so I figured let me just size up because I want to have that extra tummy room because if it's um, if it doesn't fit up top I can wear a bra underneath it's no big deal but you know like if it's tight down here then I would have to return it and I don't know about you but I hate returning things so was sizing up a smart decision yes and for me I absolutely think it was the great a great decision to size up it's not uh, super tight it's actually very very comfortable I think it's flattering um, because it's fitted it does kind of like show off my waist which I love um, and the fact that it's larger up here it didn't really bother me now if I were to be doing cardio I probably will wear a bra underneath probably like a white one or I don't know maybe like the cycle to the cycle I'm sorry the spin bra um, underneath it so but other than that, I do love it. This one is going to come in, let me tell you. So it's gonna come in Breakfast Club, which is this color, Into the Groove, which is a light gray color, Total Eclipse, which is like a navy blue color, not navy, I'll show you in a minute, uh, white and onyx. So I'll probably get it in Total Eclipse and onyx, again, just so that I can have some variety because I think this is gonna be the perfect top for spring and summer um, and the fact that I won't have to wear a bra with it it's just gonna be like plus um, so I absolutely absolutely love this top okay first up we have the spin shorts they look like this. They have this beautiful little booty contouring on the back. Um, this little contour in the back almost reminds me of like the live legging, but it's not the live material because the live material is like super very soft. This is more like a performance uh, material. It's stretchier. Um, the waistband is thicker, so you can kind of see right here right um it has a four inch and seam so they're not booty shorts which i'm so thankful for because i am not a booty shorts type of girl i know that some girls feel comfortable working on booty shorts i don't i prefer biker shorts or just anything with a longer inseam and four inches was perfect because it covered what it needed to cover uh the coolest feature about these shorts is that so if i have the shorts like these right in the leg right here inside of the seam of the shorts we've got these little rubber grips so what this does is it allows it to um, not slide up and down on your leg as you are working out which I did um, presses squats and presses and they stayed on perfectly fine so this is the color total eclipse which is this beautiful blue um, and it pairs perfectly with the Free Fallen Namaste bra, right? And I'm actually gonna put it right here on the side of the screen. And it is going to come in Atari, which is this green color, Total Eclipse, which is this blue color, uh, Vogue, which is like a dark gray color, Onyx, which is black, and Bowie, which is like a, the lighter of the neutral brown color. So super cute, four inch inseam, nylon spandex blend, super flattering, and not too short. They're short, but not too short. So not biker shorts, not booty shorts, perfect in between shorts. 
Next is the Material Girl ribbed legging. So this is the ribbing. And I know mine's a little wrinkly, but please ignore that. So this is the material. Again, similar to the supply and demand, but not exactly the exact same ones. Um, no front seam in the front of leggings. Back, we've got the same signature, both bunny contour and the booty. And then of course we have the metal branding right there, which matches the branding on the back of the bra. So here's the back of the ribbed bra and it matches the legging. So it looks super cute when you have it both on together. So this legging does have a lot of stretch. It does have a lot of gift to them. Um, I got mine in an extra large, which is my standard size in all my bottoms. Uh, I probably should have sized down on these because they're so stretchy and they have so much give um i think that a tighter pair would have been a little bit more flattering on me these i felt like i had a lot of um extra fabric if i like sat down or like it would bunch up um like towards my knees but again that's because i'm short and it's just a stretchy fabric so um i probably would have sized down on these if you want them to just be like i don't know um if you want them to be a little bit more compressive, then definitely size down. If, if you just want them to fit you like normal, then stay true to size. Um, I got mine true to size. You've seen the pictures on my Instagram, what they look like true to size. But I think that I probably, if I reorder them, um, I'll size down to a large. Okay, next I have the spin legging, and I actually have the spin legging in two different colors. I have it in this beautiful Guns N' Roses red color, and then I have it in this Atari color. So the Atari is the like forest green color, exact same legging, different colors. So this is the front, um, thick waistband, this is the back with a cute little buff bunny logo. So um, these kind of look like the live leggings, but they're again not the live leggings. The live leggings are that soft and buttery fabric. This is more of a sweat wicking performance fabric. So I did wear, wear these to the gym already, along with the Atari ones. And um, I honestly, they're sweat wicking. Like I was expecting to have like sweat stains and I was surprised that I didn't because I'm uh, like, I sweat a lot when I'm at the gym. Um, so didn't have that issue, totally sweat wicking. Um, they are a little bit compressive. Um, I would say these are probably like medium compression, medium support. They um, don't have that extra seam at the top like the Outlaws, which you guys know the Outlaws are my favorite, but I still absolutely love these leggings. As you can see, I've been wearing them nonstop. I've worn these like three days already since I got them. Um, but yeah, so these are going to come in several colors they are going to come in atari which is the green color journey which is the dark gray vogue which is the lighter gray onyx which is black total eclipse which is that blue color uh guns and roses which is this color and purple rain which is that beautiful deep purple color and it's got a 26 inch inseam um but yeah it's honestly they're so cute they look great on every body shape because um, whenever we've shot at Buff Bunny for all of, you know, for the campaign photos, I've seen girls of all sizes wear these and they look good on everybody. Whether you are petite, whether you're curvy, um, they look great. Okay, and the final leggings that I have to show you here today are the Limitless Leggings in this stunning citrus green color. So these are the same Limitless Leggings from before. Before they came in like um, a gray color and a white color, but it was the same pattern. So they're back, but in three new colors. So they're gonna come in citrus green, citrus blue, and citrus orange. So if you are a fan of those colors definitely snag some these are the only leggings launching this time that have pockets so they do have pockets 
these leggings remind me of the sleigh leggings um which are those black and white zebra looking leggings that i wear and you guys probably have seen on my instagram a couple of times they fit me the exact same way the material is feels exactly the same the length is exactly the same the only difference between these and the sleighs is of course that these have the pocket leg the pocket in the leg but um they're very comfortable to wear to the gym. They look great. If you are a fan of patterns um, versus just plain colors, then definitely get you one of these because they are so cute. There is the Aurora crop top, which has the exact same print so you can match them. I don't have that color, uh, I'm sorry, that top. So I have paired mine with um, either the, the Simmons, the Spin, or the Under Pressure. Either of those shades of green, they look great together. Okay, let's talk about the bar bodysuit because we have gotten a lot of questions about this beautiful piece and I wanna make sure that I cover all of your questions. Um, I posted a reel on Instagram and then of course I posted a question sticker with it's for you guys to ask me everything so that I could review it thoroughly when I came on here. Um, so this particular piece okay there is no padding it is straight fabric there is no built-in bra um think of it kind of like a bathing suit but way softer than a bathing suit obviously because it's not it's not like that shiny bathing suit material it's it's a very pretty material honestly um and then it has the mesh that goes right um across like the top and then down the middle okay now the straps are also adjustable, which you can see here. I did have to adjust mine because once again, I'm 5'2 shorty, so the way that it came in the bag when I first took it out, it was way too long for me. I had to adjust it. The bottom is just little clasps, button clasps like that, okay? And then it just snaps right back in place easily. Easy to put on, easy to take off, okay? Can you wear a bra with this? If you wanted to, yeah, you can. Will it show? Probably because of the depth of this um, little mesh right here, it'll probably show your bra. Um, if it were me and I needed to wear a bra, I would wear like the sticky cup bra, the one that just like you stick on and then you clip in the middle. I wouldn't mind if that showed because the way that it clasps, um, it's very, small and i'll put a picture of the kind of bra that i'm talking about right here so you can kind of see um so i would wear that kind of bra or i would just not wear a bra um even though the material is very thin it is not see-through so i did not have a problem when i put mine on um i went outside and i took a picture like in the direct sun no nipple showing n nothing like i mean Obviously you can see like the outline, but you couldn't like actually see it. So I would just probably not wear a bra. Um, the other question that I got asked is, would you wear this to the gym? I did not get this with the intention of wearing this to the gym. My rationale for selecting this piece is that I wanted it to be more like a lifestyle piece for going out because I figured I could uh, pair it with jeans, with some cute pants, with skirts, with sweats. That's why I got it. Um, it's gonna come in, doo -doo -doo, I believe three colors. Yeah, so it's gonna come in Onyx, which is black, Guns N' Roses, which is that red color, and Vogue, which is um, a gray color. So just those three colors, which honestly, those are like the perfect staple colors anyway. Um, a lot of other questions were about the front. Did it give me a front wedgie? It did not. Um, I know that in some of the pictures, it looked like it was, really 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 thin that it might give you a front wedgie but i didn't have that problem um again different shapes different body types probably will experience something differently i did not experience that i felt fully covered um and i did not feel exposed i didn't get a wedgie it was not uncomfortable it didn't hurt i will totally totally be wearing this out quite often now this one i did size up i ordered an extra large do i recommend that you size up no if i could go back i would not have sized up 
Did it fit me sized up? Yes, of course, it still fit me. Um, but the only reason why I would not have sized up is because I felt like if I had not, it would have been tighter up front and it kind of would have held my boobs in a little bit better. The fact that it was sized up gave me that extra room up here. So I didn't feel like I was, you know, flopping around everywhere, but I think a smaller one, or at least my true to size one, probably would have felt more snug, more secure, and probably a little bit more flattering. So, I got extra large. If I order again, I'm definitely gonna get my true to size, which is large. So, up to you if you want to size up or stay true to size, um, but yeah. Next up, I have the Arnold Bomber in the color white. So let me get close for you so you can see. It's got this beautiful quilted design, right? This is not like a soft, I'm sorry, like a, a shiny jacket material. It's actually very, very soft. It's very lightweight, which I loved because I almost was like kind of back and forth. Like, do I really want a jacket when it's like winter or spring but honestly because it's so lightweight it's actually perfect for winter spring it's got pockets on both sides with zippers right and it is like not a long jacket it's not cropped but it's more like i don't know like mid-length um i got a large in mine so i did not size up i got my true to size um and then you can see that i don't struggle to like zip it up it literally fits perfect i've got all the room in there super cute um the zipper goes all the way up and it's got the neckline right here the sleeves no thumb holes or anything but they're also not extremely long or short they are just perfect so the arnold bomber this is going to come in white um black and I want to say Guns N' Roses, which is like the red color. It might not be exactly Guns N' Roses, but I know it's a red, like a shade of red. So black, white, and red. So cute. The back. I just love this. Okay, guys, I am at Buff Bunny HQ today, and I wanted to show you this set because this is not one of the sets that I got in my PR box, but I figured I could show you anyway. So... These are the leggings. I'm going to put the name of the leggings right here on the side of the screen. And then this is the Too Faced bra. So I just kind of wanted to show you this little crisscross design here. So it's called Too Faced because you can wear it with the crisscross in the front. Or you can wear it with like the scoop in the front. So it's Too Faced because you can wear it both ways. This one does not have um cups or anything it's just the fabric but it's such a lightweight and um easy fabric that i would totally just wear this at home all the time and then of course the matching leggings <clears throat> these leggings have a thicker waistband that kind of almost have like the um the style of the live leggings but it's not the live material it's a different material and then we have the little stripe going down the side of the legging so cute, but wanted to show you this additional set. One more thing I wanted to show you before I leave at uh, BBHQ is the Game Changer Duffel. So here is the duffel itself. You can see how big it is. Nice and roomy, perfect for travel, okay? Um, some of the features of this bag include this front zipper pocket right here, which has those little mesh paneling on the inside and these two little pockets right there. We also have on this side, this is the part to where you like you put it on the um, handle of your rolling suitcase or just any suitcase and it just sits on top of your suitcase, but it also has a pocket within that. And then here, you can zip the bottom up and make it two pockets instead of one. So that's super cute. Um, this bottom portion of the bag is removable, so give me a quick second. So you just unzip it all the way around and it comes off just like that. This is really hard to do with one hand, by the way. So this portion, like when you, put, when you put it on the duffel, you can use it to carry your shoes, 
or you can carry, um, I don't know, maybe you like your dirty laundry after the trip, but it's got this mesh, like little panel, paneling over it to just kind of hold everything together. And then the duffel without it looks like this. So it's still super cute, but you know, we take that last part off. Now let's take a look at the inside of the bag. That is gorgeous, okay? We have all of these little pockets, all of these clasps, um, this bigger pocket right here for your laptop. On the opposite side, we have a zipper pocket right here. And then of course you have the strap. So if you don't wanna use the arm straps like this, you can use the shoulder strap. The shoulder strap does have the padded little extra thing on there to just kind of make it more comfortable to carry. But overall guys, this double is so cute. Um, I definitely plan to get one for myself. And wow, the hard part is going to be <laughs> deciding which color I want. But Okay, the last thing I want to do before I close out the video is then I want to answer some more of your questions. So I have put a question sticker up on my stories asking for you guys to ask away. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Uh, Jessica Don Dawson Fit asks, do the rib pieces, um, are, are they true to size? So I think the top is true to size. The bottoms, personally, I would size down. Ashley Rochelle 92 asked, how are the step up leggings? Do they slide down at all? Um, because they don't have that extra secure seam around the waistband, I did notice some sliding down. It wasn't as significant as other leggings that I've owned that do that, but the, I did find myself having to pull them up if I was like jumping or running. Um, when I was just doing like, um, I don't know, like anything with dumbbells or something like that, they were perfectly fine. Um, next one. Crystal underscore Ribadol says, how does the Arnold jacket run? True to size or size up? Um, I have an Escondola in large, for example. So, bomber jacket, true to size. Once again, I have a large, which is my normal size. Um, I would not have sized up because I think it would have been way too big. The sleeves probably would have been like way too big. So definitely stay true to size and it's stretchy. So like, see, you don't need to size up. I think stay true to size for the Arnold Bomber. Okay, balance underscore Tula says, how would pregnant girls size in the step up and spin leggings? Girl, I wish I could tell you, but the last time I was pregnant, it was 16 years ago, and honestly, fitness was an afterthought at that point in my life, so I have no idea. Um, I can't think of any of the Buff Bunny girls who are currently pregnant for me to be able to answer that question. I don't know. I wish I could give you the answer, but I'm really not sure. They're stretchy for sure. So I don't know. Maybe if you plan to use them postpartum, um, maybe stick true to size or just one size up. Um, but you also don't want them too big because then they're going to be a little bit like saggy in the booty area. So I don't know. I'd probably stay true to size. If it were me and I was pregnant just because of how much they stretch, I think I would just stick to my normal size. Uh, underscore Jazz Gets Fit underscore says, if you have the outlaws and step ups, can you lay one over the other and discuss sizing differences? Great question. So I do have the outlaws. The outlaws are my all time favorite Buff Bunny legging. I do not have the step up leggings, but they are made from the exact same fabric, the uh, Perform fabric, um, which is that stretchy material, which I love. So I have no doubt that I would love the step up leggings. In fact, I plan to buy a pair of the step up leggings uh, on my own. The um, Buff Bunny describes them, I'm just gonna tell you what they said. They said, boost up your wardrobe in our new step up leggings designed in our customer favorite perform fabric that glides with your every move. The spin legging features a secure waistband with a contouring back seam and energizing styled lines on the lower leg. Um, and it's going to come in Onyx, which is black, Journey, which is brown, Vogue, which is gray, and Guns N' Roses, which is red. So four different colors, 25 inch inseam. Um, because it's a perform fabric, I bet I'm gonna love them, um, and I definitely plan to get them. I wish I had them. I did reach out to some of the other girls um, to see what they what their thoughts were, and they all said great things to say. They're compressive, they stay on, they don't slide, so, if you love the outlaws, you'll probably love the step ups. Let's see. 
Fitness underscore newbie 20 asks, any leggings have the same compression like Outlaw? The step up leggings for sure, so maybe grab those. Uh, Kendra Fitness XO says, if you could only buy one thing from the collection, what would it be? Oh, girl, that's hard. Um, here, if you only could buy one bra, um, I would get the Simmons crop just because it's a unique piece, one of a kind. You can wear it as a crop top, but you can also wear it as a bra to the gym. So I would get the Simmons crop. If it was leggings, I would probably get the step up leggings, even though I haven't, I don't have them here personally. I know that because of the fabric, I'm gonna love them. So I would get the step up leggings. If it was just like a lifestyle piece, I'd probably get the bar bodysuit because you can dress it up in so many ways. So yeah, those would be my top three. Lonnie underscore Lily asked, what size do you wear in jeans compared to the leggings? New Buff Bunny buyer here. Well, Lonnie, thank you for being a first time Buff Bunny buyer here. Um, I wear a size 12 in jeans normally and I get um, extra large in all of my leggings. So 12, extra large, um, yeah. And then Julia underscore Rivera 5 says, should I size up in the ribbed tank top? Is it compressing? I would not size up. I would stay true to size. It is um, slightly compressive. So I'm afraid that if you sized up, it would probably be a little too wide for you. So definitely do not size up. Order your normal size. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. So make sure that if you have any additional questions that I did not address, you go into the comments and you type them down there below and I would be happy to answer them. Um, once again, my support code is just my name, Teresa. And thank you so much in advance if you decide to use it. But other than that, I can't wait to see what you guys snag. Make sure you tag me on Instagram um, if you buy anything, if when you get it, when you try it on, I want to celebrate with you your happiness that you love these pieces so make sure to tag me but yeah i'll see you next time bye